52 Alaskan Malamute Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. Alaskan Malamutes are robust working dogs of Spitz type that vary in size according to the AKC breed standard, with females ideally standing around 23 inches tall and males around 25 inches tall. In terms of weight, female Alaskan Malamutes typically weigh about 75 pounds, while males usually weigh around 85 pounds. Number 2. The head of the Alaskan Malamute is both broad and deep in proportion to the size, and not at all coarse or clumsy. Their head usually presents a gentle expression reflecting the dog's affectionate nature, and their eyes are obliquely set within the skull. Number 3. This breed features a broad and moderately rounded skull with a slight furrow between the eyes. The top line of the skull and muzzle displays a subtle downward slope, and the muzzle is substantial and bulky compared to the size of the skull. Number 4. The eyes of Alaskan Malamutes are almond-shaped and can have various shades of brown with a preference for darker colors. It's important to note that purebred Alaskan Malamutes do not have blue eyes and are often considered a disqualification. Number 5. The ears of the Alaskan Malamute are medium-sized, appearing small in proportion to the head, and they have triangular shapes with slightly rounded tips, and these ears stand upright when the dog is attentive. Number 6. The Alaskan Malamute possesses a sturdy and moderately arched neck, a well-developed chest, a compact body that is not too short coupled. Their back is straight and gently slopes toward the hips. Number 7. The tail of the Alaskan Malamute is moderately positioned, aligning with the spine's line at its base. When the dog is not working, the tail is carried over the back and is neither sharply snapped upward or tightly curled against the back. Number 8. The hindquarters of the Alaskan Malamute exhibit distinctive features, including broad and heavily muscled rear legs. These rear legs are moderately bent at the stifles, and they also have well-set hock joints. Number 9. The Alaskan Malamute's front portion, known as the forequarters, is characterized by the shoulders with a moderate slope and forelegs that are robustly boned and muscled. When observed from the front, these forelegs appear straight. Number 10. These dogs are equipped with distinctive features in their paws. They possess a protective growth of hair between their toes, which helps shield them from cold weather. Their paw pads are notably thick and tough, providing insulation and protection. Additionally, their toenails are short and strong, ensuring stability and endurance as they're working. Number 11. The Alaskan Malamute proudly features a double coat, comprising dense, woolly undercoat and a coarse, outer guard coat. The outer coat stands higher at the withers, the highest point on the back, but it doesn't exceed more than one inch in length along the sides of the body. Number 12. This breed usually displays a wide range of color combinations in their coat, which may include shades of gray and white, sable and white, black and white, seal and white, red and white, or even a solid white coloration. Number 13. In terms of markings and coloration, Alaskan Malamutes exhibit a variety of patterns. This can include face markings, blazes, a splash at the nape of the neck, and occasionally a color or half color. Typically, white serves as the predominant color on their body, along with specific regions on their legs, feet, and certain facial markings. Number 14. The typical life expectancy for Alaskan Malamutes spans from 10 to 14 years, which is a testament to their overall good health. These resilient dogs tend to have a longer lifespan compared to some other breeds. Number 15. Like many dog breeds, these guys can be susceptible to specific health issues, one of which is progressive retinal atrophy. This condition primarily impacts the eyes and can lead to changes in pigmentation, resulting in either dark or light patches in the eye. While this eye condition is treatable, it can also be painful and in severe cases, it can lead to blindness in affected dogs. Number 16. In addition to hip dysplasia, hereditary cataract, and other common health concerns, the Alaskan Malamute may also face various health issues with uncertain origins. These include seizure disorders, as well as conditions like epilepsy, congenital heart problems, kidney issues, and skin disorders. Number 17. These dogs can encounter additional health concerns, including alpodysplasia, inherited polyneuropathy, osteochondroplasia, cerebellar hypoplasia, heart defects, and even hypothyroidism. Number 18. Canine diabetes is an increasingly prevalent issue among Arctic dog breeds, including the Alaskan Malamute. Their close relatives, like the Samiid, are particularly susceptible to this condition. Number 19. Zinc deficiency is another notable health issue that can affect Alaskan Malamutes. This breed is prone to difficulties in absorbing zinc efficiently, which can lead to various problems, including infections, skin issues, and coat problems. Number 20. Alaskan Malamutes can sometimes develop an unpleasant odor for a range of reasons, such as exposure to water, yeast infections, or skin infections. To maintain a fresh-smelling and healthy dog, it's essential to identify the underlying cause of the odor and seek appropriate diagnosis and treatment. 
Number 21. Alaskan Malamutes have a tendency to dig, which can be driven by various factors. If it's due to boredom, addressing their need for stimulation can help. If it's instinctual, consider creating a designated digging area, like a sandbox in your yard, to accommodate their natural behavior. Number 22. These dogs are not known for excessive barking, but they are quite vocal and often communicate by howling. They can be triggered to howl by sirens, and sometimes, with a little encouragement from humans, they may sing along as well. If Malamutes are feeling lonely or bored, they may frequently howl as a way of expressing their emotions. Number 23. Given their status as one of the fluffiest dog breeds and their strong association with cold climates, it's no surprise that Alaskan Malamutes are renowned for their cold weather prowess, having a profound love for snow. Their adaptation to Arctic conditions is evident in their enthusiasm for snow play. Malamute owners often witness their dogs transforming into lazy fluff puddles during the summer and, in contrast, rolling around with boundless joy in the snow during the winter. Number 24. Alaskan Malamutes exhibit a strong prey drive, a natural inclination to chase and potentially harm small animals. If you have other pets, you gotta introduce them to your Malamute gradually. Number 25. The Alaskan Malamute holds the position of being one of the oldest sled dog breeds. Their lineage is traced back to wolf-dog hybrids that journeyed across the Bering Strait alongside Paleolithic hunters approximately 4,000 years ago. Number 26. The name of the breed Alaskan Malamute is indeed derived from the Malamute, an ancient Inuit tribe that settled in Kotzebue Sound in northwestern Alaska a very long time ago. These dogs were crucial companions for the Malamutes, aiding in their transportation across the harsh and frozen tundra of Alaska's interior. Number 27. In the midst of the Klondike Gold Rush in 1896, Alaskan Malamutes and other sled dogs were very important to prospectors and settlers. At that time, there was a brief period when they were often crossbred with imported breeds to meet the growing demand for strong and resilient sled dogs in the harsh Alaskan terrain. Number 28. The influx of various dog breeds during the Gold Rush of 1896 led to interbreeding with native dogs, endangering the purity of the Alaskan Malamute breed. Fortunately, one of the original settlement tribes, the Malamutes, remained relatively isolated, which helped preserve their line of Alaskan Malamutes. Number 29. In 1933, these dogs were chosen to play a crucial role in supporting Admiral Richard Byrd's Antarctic expedition. This selection underscored their remarkable sustainability for strenuous tasks in the harshest and coldest of conditions. Number 30. DNA analysis conducted on a 9,500-year-old dog named Zokov, discovered in the Siberian island, unveiled a shared ancestry of these dogs with the Greenland sledge dog, the Alaskan Malamute, and the Siberian Husky. This finding shed light on the historical connections and relationships among these remarkable Arctic dog breeds. Number 31. The Alaskan Malamute breed boasts unique strains originating from various regions, notably Kotzebue, Amlut, and Hinman. It's worth noting that champion Toro of Brass Coop earned the distinction of being the first dog to successfully unite these diverse strains. Number 32. Alaskan Malamutes played a significant role in both the World Wars. During the First World War, they were deployed to France to transport supplies to mountain outposts shortly after the Second World War began, and there was a high demand for sled dogs for various military tasks. Therefore, many registered Alaskan Malamutes were called into service. Number 33. The Alaskan Malamute Club of America was established in 1935 coinciding with the American Kennel Club's recognition of the Kotzebue strain in the same year, later extending its recognition to encompass all three strains. Number 34. In 2006, a pivotal moment occurred for the Alaskan Malamute in the UK, when it transitioned from being classified as a rare breed for 47 years to gaining championship status. This milestone marked a significant development for both the breed itself and the UK Alaskan Malamute Club. Number 35. In 2010, the Alaskan Malamute received the honor of being designated as the official state dog of Alaska. Furthermore, Lothrop High School in Fairbanks, Alaska proudly adopted the Malamute as its official mascot, solidifying the breed's deep connection and significance in the state's culture and identity. Number 36. In 2011, there was a notable peak in annual Alaskan Malamute registrations, with a total of 1,295 new registrations recorded, underscoring a surge in the breed's popularity during that year. Number 37. A study conducted in 2013 revealed that the Alaskan Malamute shares a common East Asian origin with the Greenland dog and the Canadian Eskimo dog. Additionally, this research revealed the possibility of genetic influence from the Siberian Husky. Number 38. A genetic study conducted in 2015 demonstrated that the Alaskan Malamute, Siberian Husky, and the Alaskan Husky share a close genetic relationship with one another. Furthermore, these breeds have genetic ties to Chukotka sled dogs from Siberia. Number 39. In North America, both the Alaskan Malamute and the Siberian Husky have preserved their Siberian lineage and have been instrumental in the formation of the Alaskan Husky breed. However, the Alaskan Husky also exhibits signs of crossbreeding with European breeds, indicating their evolution in the post 
post-colonial North American context. Number 40, the Alaskan Malamute earned a special place of recognition in the United States in 1984, when it was one of the four purebred dogs featured on the AKC Centennial stamps by the U.S. Postal Service. Moreover, this remarkable breed has been celebrated and depicted on postage stamps in at least 14 different countries. Number 41, the heat cycle of a female Alaskan Malamute usually spans two to four weeks. This breed can have litters ranging from four to 10 puppies, reflecting their potential for producing moderate to large sized litters. Number 42, the usual gestation period for Alaskan Malamutes is approximately 63 days from conception. However, it's important to note that this time frame can vary by a few days as with most other dog breeds. Number 43, the Alaskan Malamute holds the distinction of being the largest among all Nordic sledge dogs. In some cases, these giants, often referred to as gentle Malamutes, can reach weights up to a staggering 200 pounds. Number 44, typically, the cost of an Alaskan Malamute puppy from a reputable breeder falls within the range of $1,200 to $2,000. However, top quality Alaskan Malamute puppies can command prices as high as $3,000. The price of a Malamute puppy can vary based on factors such as the pup's age, sex, quality, pedigree, and the breeder's location. Number 45. According to research from the University of Pennsylvania Seabark study, the Alaskan Malamute has been found to rate quite high in terms of dog rivalry. They rank 10th out of 124 breeds in displaying hostility towards other familiar dogs. Number 46. These dogs ranked 7th out of 124 breeds in exhibiting aggression, which includes behaviors such as barking, growling, and barring of teeth towards other unfamiliar dogs, according to the same study. Number 47. Stanley Corrin's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, ranks the Alaskan Malamute as the 50th breed out of 130 in terms of intelligence. This places them in the category of dogs with average intelligence. Typically, Alaskan Malamutes will require about 25 to 40 repetitions to learn new commands. Number 48. Alaskan Malamutes are indeed renowned for their strength and endurance, rather than their speed. In the AKC's Fast Coursing Ability Test, they achieved an average running speed of approximately 22 miles per hour. However, a remarkable Alaskan Malamute named Ix's Clever Cody once achieved an astonishing speed of 26.75 miles per hour in the Fast Coursing Ability Test. Number 49. Alaskan Malamutes have also made their mark in classic literature, with notable references in works such as Jack London's White Fang and Jean Craighead George's Julia Wolves. Number 50. In the 1995 movie Apollo 13, an Alaskan Malamute named Kinai had a notable role, portraying the character Blitz. The inclusion of an Alaskan Malamute in such a high-profile movie underlines the breed's enduring popularity and its capacity to excel in various roles, both on and off the screen. Number 51. Alaskan Malamutes have also found their way into the hearts of some notable individuals throughout history. Famous owners of Alaskan Malamutes include explorer Richard E. Byrd, baseball hall of famer Vida Blue, renowned film director George Lucas, and beloved actor-comedian Robin Williams. Number 52. The iconic Star Wars character Chewbacca found his inspiration in George Lucas's pet, Alaskan Malamute named Indiana. Also, in the movie Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the young Indiana Jones is shown to have a Malamute as his loyal companion. Alright guys, now which of these Malamute facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.